WFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesaventer for your mid-morning update. Uh, well, we've got gold down a little bit. We've got crude oil making new lows from uh, where we were back about four months ago. Very important chart to look at, folks. You can see there's a potential for there's a double bottom in here. We'll go into that more extensively when we go to the full session, which will be coming on in about uh, another 90 seconds. Anyway, we also have the British pound down. The euro still weakening, much as expected. Uh, we have Treasury bonds lower. That was also expected. That was all covered uh, in the newsletter. So things are coming along pretty much like we expected. We had a big move in the Dow Jones. We went for 33,900 all the way down to 33,600. You know, a 300-point drop in a matter of about uh, three or four hours uh, with news coming out of, uh, I believe it was Saudi Arabia, something about oil or whatever. I don't know what it what caused it, but that's uh, pretty much uh, what we're looking at. So those are the things that are happening today in the market. The dollar, U.S. dollar, has firmed after coming off of that 382 retracement last week, and uh, we think that still has a possibility to rally a lot more. And of course, that means lower prices in the British pound and lower prices in the euro. So that's what we're paying attention to uh, here today. So we'll see some of those other things regarding the. Um, agricultural commodities they're holding their own they're down just slightly but uh, you know we still have some more to go to the downside in that and we'll see how these things uh, you know unfold as far as the inflation front I don't think that's changed very much what we've just seen in the currency markets and also in the Treasury bond markets are normal retracements I'll try to cover those on the show that we have that'll be coming up here uh, in just a little while. So that's pretty much it. Our, go our guest today will be uh, Norm Winsky. Always uh, interesting in what he has to say. So I think we'll be able to have a really good show as we look at some of these things unfolding uh, here today. Remember, this is a holiday week, and about uh, our, the Dow Jones Industrial Average has a 72% chance of closing higher the day before Thanksgiving. That's on th that's on uh, Friday, folks. Excuse me, the day after Thanksgiving, it has a 73% chance of going higher, less since the Dow Jones started trading in 1896. We'll be right back. 877 927 6648. 